Hey everybody and welcome to another video. So today we are going to be seeing just how much damage a kayak can take. Now, if you're like me, you want to protect your kayaks. Look, I've been trying to protect my kayak as much as I can for the longest time ever since I got into kayaking. You know, kayaks, they're a big expense and we want to baby them. But also sometimes, you know, when you're at the launch and you like want to drag your kayak a little bit and then you just wonder how much damage are you really giving your kayak? Well, today we are going to find out. We're gonna drag it around. We're gonna throw it off the you know top of my truck. Eventually, we're even going to cut that kayak in half and try and re-weld it back together and just see how much damage kayaks can take. All right, let's stop talking. Let's just beat this kayak up and see what happens. So you can see right now just how much damage is on this kayak. Really not a lot. I mean, there's some little surface scratches right here. There's like a little dig in right here, but not that much. But we're going to hook it up to the uh, hitch of the truck and let's start dragging this thing around. But here's so you can see what it looks like right now. One. Two. I've got four cinder blocks here and we're going to start off by just towing this thing around with none of the cinder blocks in there. But then we're just gonna start adding them. We're gonna load this thing up and just see. I don't know, we're gonna see if we can break this thing. Let's look at the damage we got here. So we are dragging this thing around and let's see the bottom. All right. So we dragged this thing around on this asphalt here on the road. We're here in this church parking lot. And you can see even pulling it around. I mean, there's a scuff right there, but that is not deep enough to cause a leak. We got some nice scuffing all the way through right there but let's add a few cinder blocks and let's see how it does back on our super scientific grind over here our testing we're now loaded up with four one two three four cinder blocks and we're going to tow this thing back around the block and just see how much damage it really makes on this kayak and i don't know if you guys enjoy this kind of thing but i just want to know i'm willing to sacrifice this kayak for you guys just so you have a little bit more peace of mind you know like when you have to drag that kayak an extra few inches when you're on the launch by yourself you've all been there trying to load up your kayak and it starts to slide back and then you're wondering oh man how scratched up is it is it gonna leak next time i use it guys let's see what happens when we drag four cinder blocks around let's do it
right now, I want you guys to comment below and let me know if you think we've gotten through the kayak. Do you think there's any holes in it? Do you think it's just surface scratches? I mean, you saw what dragging it around with no cinder blocks, but I'm gonna hand this camera off to my wife. We're gonna take these off and we're gonna check it out. Man, this is what making videos is all about. This is, this is fun. I recommend drag around a kayak on the back of your truck if you've never done it. It's tons of fun. So we're gonna start the front here. We've got some deeper scratches here, but still, it's not all the way into the kayak. I mean, this, you guys saw what I did to my Vibe kayak. We can repair that no problem. That's not, that's nothing. That's just a little bit of heat. Melt it back into itself. Moving down, another little, you know, deeper scratch. Once I hit this with the heat gun, guys, this is going to clean up well. It's not as bad as you think. Just some more scratches, still no punctures all the way through. Moving more down, a little bit of plastic right there. Still nothing all the way through. How about down here? Okay, now down here, we got some deeper scratches in there, but still that's not, even that, that's not, that's not a leak. Guys, this hole is still, I don't think there's gonna be any leaks in this hole. There's some scratches, but it's not deep enough. Now, what about if we're like being really rough with our kayak? You know how we drop it sometimes? How much beating can a kayak really take? Still no. Even throwing cinder blocks onto kayaks, still no puncture. That's just a little indentation right there, but no cracks, no nothing. I mean, look at this, watch this. Guys, I think we are babying our kayaks. And by we, I mean me. I think I'm babying my kayak a lot more. What about like on the side, like this? Still nothing. Making YouTube videos is a ton of fun. I was just telling my wife that. What a blessing to just come out here and wreck this kayak. I'm telling you what. So we've pulled it around with cinder blocks. I mean, it made a bunch of scratch marks, but we didn't go through the hole. And I think that is a pretty good test on just how durable the kayaks that we have are. Then we started throwing cinder blocks on them. Still didn't break the kayak. Um, we're good. So now I've got my kayak on top of the truck. And you and I have probably both been there. We're at the launch by ourselves. And if you're like me, maybe you've dropped your kayak off there once, but uh, if you haven't, I'm here to let you see what happens to a kayak when it does fall off your roof rack. So we're gonna emulate that. I am going to push this off my truck, hopefully not damaging my mirrors or anything like that. Actually, let's push these in just like that. And I'm gonna go on the other side and push it off with force. It's gonna fall down on the ground and we're gonna see uh, what it looks like. Let's check it out. We're gonna do it again too, just to see how it did. But what we're looking for really is cracks in the kayak. So everything looks pretty good. Now that's just a quick overview, of course. What do you think, babe? Looks the same. One, two, three. Oh. <laughs> Wouldn't it look awesome? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, so let's let's check it out. All right, any new damage? Okay, definitely some damage on the side here. A bunch of ripples on the plastic. Um, what else do we got? I mean, it pretty much looks the same besides like the rips right there. Some scuff marks up here at the top. You look over here. Guys, I don't think we have any scratches or cracks that go all the way through the hole. So I think we're pretty good. So obviously we would never treat our kayaks this way. Maybe you know somebody who 
treats their kayak this way, but I can tell you this, they're probably always on the water with that kayak and it probably still works. Now, plastic is super forgiving. I mean, it's so forgiving, it's easy to repair. I even have um, some videos that I show you how to repair and plastic weld. I'll link that in the description, description below. Um, but it's very forgiving and these things can take a beating. Now this isn't to say that we just start beating up our kayaks for no reason, but guys, we are fishing in some pretty rugged areas sometimes where we have to drag our kayak where man, wheels just don't cut it. And sometimes honestly, if we're, if we're being honest with each other, it, we're just lazy sometimes. I was at this launch the other day and it was just such a pain to get my kayak on the wheels. I just wanted to drag it. And so, man, once you add some keel guards and some things like that, I think you're gonna be just fine. Now, the next video in this little sacrificial kayak series is gonna be putting some gator guards, some keel tape stuff on this kayak. And we're gonna pretty much do the same test and just see how long it takes for those keel guards to run, uh, run down and pretty much destroy themselves just to add a little bit more protection anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up give it a like hit that notification bell so we can keep this channel going and doing all kinds of fun videos like this we're going to eventually cut this kayak in half and we're going to put it back together and see if it still works all right guys catch you on the next one